Determine if the graph has an Euler circuit. If it does, find one. If it does not, explain why. So to determine if a graph has an Euler circuit, we're basically looking for two things. The first thing is that the graph needs to be connected. So the graph needs to be connected, which means that I can get from one vertex to any vertex some way. The second thing is that all of the degrees are even. So as long as the graph is connected and all the degrees are even, it will have an Euler circuit. So looking at this first example, what I'm going to do is count the number of edges going into each vertex. One, may, one way you might want to do this is just kind of by covering everything up except the vertex that you're looking at. So if I look at the top one, kind of cover up everything around it, you can see that there's two edges going into it. So this would have a degree of two. Okay. I do the same thing for the one on the left. I have one, two, three, four. On the bottom, I have one, two, three. Bottom right, one, two, three. And that last one there has one, two, three, four. Okay, so the first thing is that this graph is connected. I can get from any vertex to the other one somehow. But all the degrees are not even. If we look at the bottom left, we have actually two odd degrees. One is enough to do it. So because I have at least one that is an odd degree, this will not have an Euler circuit. So this one is no because at least one vertex has an odd degree. Okay, so this graph will not have an Euler circuit. It will have an Euler path because we have a pair of odd vertices. So what that means is that I could trace all of the edges once and only once, but I would end in a different spot from where I started. Okay, but this one does not have an Euler circuit because I would end in a different spot. So let's look at the next one. And again, two things that we're checking for that is connected, so you can get from one vertex to another, and all the degrees are even. So if we look at this next one, we're going to do the same thing, just count the number of edges going into each vertex. So starting on the left, far left, I have two, two, and two on all of those. And that's going to be the same for all the ones on the right and all the ones on the bottom as well. Okay, so so far so good. All of them are even. So we just have one more to check, which is on the inside. So I got one, two, three, four, five, six. So this one is even, so all the degrees are even, so this one will. This one has an Euler circuit. Okay, so this one has an Euler circuit, so because it does, we're going to find it. What I would recommend to you is that you try and start at the vertex with the highest degree. I'm going to use a different color as I trace, just so you can see what I'm doing here. So I'm going to start in the middle because that one has the highest degree. It doesn't really matter which way you go, I'm going to go to the left. So starting from that 6, I'm going to go to the left, so that's for, or, uh, edge 1, and then edge 2, edge 3, edge 4. Okay, so now I'm back to where I started, but I haven't covered all the edges yet, so this is not an Euler circuit yet. So I'll do the same thing on the bottom. So that's 5, 6, 7, and 8. Once again, I'm back to where I started, but you have to cover every edge. So one more loop here. Uh, so then we got edge 9, number 10, and then 11, and then 11. And then finally, we're back to where we started, covering all of the edges. So this is an Euler circuit. Starting from that middle, we traced around all of those, back to where we started. Okay, let's look at one more. Again, we need to determine if it will have an Euler circuit. And then if it does, we'll find one. So the first thing I'll do is look at all the degrees of all the vertices. So starting on the top left, we have two edges going in. And then actually we have two all the way around that. On the inside we have two and two. On the outside we have two and two. 
Okay, on the inside we have 4 and 4. So once again, all of the degrees are even, so this is guaranteed to have an Euler circuit because it is connected. So again, I would recommend you start at the highest degree. So I'm going to start at one of those 4s. And then I'll just kind of maybe travel around the outside there. So I have my first edge, my second one, third, and then my fourth, and then my fifth. So then at this point, maybe I'll go on the inside. So then that's six, seven, eight. And then maybe finish off that rectangle, so nine. And then traveling up, we get 10, 11, and then 12. And notice that we are back to where we started. And we've covered all of the edges once and only once. So this is an Euler circuit.